Let's move on. Kweni District has a farmer who has mastered the art in making fortune in growing Irish potatoes. Now, 56-year-old Moses Kaptala started growing Irish potatoes at the age of 16 due to the high demand in the country and its neighbors to get school fees. But today, it is not just a mission, but a passion. Moses Kipler's farm is located in Menja village in Kweni district and sits on 70 acres of land. Kiptala, who is also a farmer trainer, grows Irish potatoes on 35 acres, barley on 10 acres and eucalyptus on 10 acres. He also has maize on 10 acres and uses 5 acres for rearing cows. An established farmer on these hills. But to accomplish all this, the ambition started in 1978 while in senior three in Kenya to feed the demand of Irish potatoes on the borders of the two countries and also to get school fees. When he graduated, Kiptala became a teacher and farming was more of a side job. But this was not more rewarding than if he concentrated on what he saw as another job. He realized that farming was paying more than even the job which he was teaching. Because the way I used to calculate was that if a worker now works for certain days, then you get roughly something like even 300,000. When you divide it means in a day you are even getting something at average of 10,000. But when I go to farming, uh, sometime when I produce, uh, uh, I cultivate 20 acres of Irish potatoes, you are able to get something like not less than 40 million. But when you divide that into the working days, because I, I, I think an employee works for eight hours. But for me, as a farmer, I also work for eight hours. But when you calculate the output, you will realize that farming pays even more than uh, the employment we are talking about. That's why currently, as we talk, I have really engaged myself in the potato production because it can be produced three times in a year. It was not all profitable when he started farming, but today he enjoys the yields of his hard work. Like when I talk of potatoes, potatoes in a season, when I talk of a season, I mean three months. So after three months, it has been actually moving, the trend has been going up. Because when I planted that first the potatoes, I used to plant uh, the seed which was not certified. And this seed, I could get something like 10 bucks, per, per 10 bucks, uh, ten, it, it used to range from 10 bucks to, 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 to 15 bucks. But when I went to the certified seed from Kachuekano, I'm able to produce now uh, one acre producing around 150 to 180 bucks. So in the total production which I'm giving you, I am able to produce about 2,700 bucks of potato per season. He explains that Kabale breeds are highly yielding, even the soils of Kweni and Kabale are similar. Roughly six employees and their daily income from Kiptala's 70 acre piece of land. They engage in land preparation, land planting, harvesting, among other activities. His family is also actively involved on the farm. Make sure that there is what we call sustainable sustainability plan of the activities that I'm doing in my garden. So the first person who is now in charge, in case I'm not there, is my wife. Yes, she has also been assisting me, both in management and monitoring. Then another, other people involved also in this work is my children. As I talk right now, I have about eight, uh, 10 children. Among the 10 children, uh, four of them have, uh, have qualified and uh, they are now assisting me in record keeping and even supervising the work in the garden. The creative farmer is very aware of climate change and he has a solution. We used to have only two seasons. Season A starts March, then season B starts August. But we have tried to see that when you plant late September, you are likely to end in drought. 
So we have used the, the, the craft flow scheme to make sure that we create another season called season three. And I think that one has really a lot of advantages. Because one, we have tried to see that we make reserve tanks. And these reserve tanks we harvest, we harvest rain even during rainy season, so that when it comes dry season, you begin actually irrigating land. And we have seen that it is more economical in terms of the prices. Because as we talk right now, I've installed about uh, a distance of about three kilometers. I've bought about 30 pipes of two inch pipe, 63. And this one brings me, which irrigates about 16 acres at a go. And we are using now sprinklers to make sure that we mitigate this. And it, it, it is cost effective. The market has not been challenging for Kiptala, who sells a bag between 60,000 shillings and 70,000 shillings, and then earns 1.2 million shillings to 1.8 million shillings from each acre per season. There are two seasons higher. Because when you sell to the market, to the hotels, those ones may be needing from 45 to 60, and the, 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 their prices vary more especially depending on the, the time of harvest. Okay. So where do you get your market? Yes, as we talk right now, my market has been distributed uh, all over. First of all, we have the local market within Quen district, Capturo district, and a part of uh, uh, Bukwa district. Then the second market, which is bigger, is the market from Bali district. In Bali, we have now organizations like, uh, there's an organization called Bali Potato Dealer Association. In short, it is border. Those are our red markets. Then for recent, we have also attracted markets from Rwanda. We have attracted also markets from Kenya. And then also we have markets coming from Kampala hotels. Successful farmers have successful stories. Kaptala has a story. When I started farming, I didn't have even a single garden of mine, which I call it mine. But as we talk, I have 60 acres, which I have bought. I have constructed my house. Uh, this is the permanent house. And then my children have gone to school so far. Now I have about six graduates. So I feel I have invested. And it was out of nothing, but it's just farming. There's also recognition from the community. Many of the community has learned more from me and we still need more to join us. If you have a dream to be like Kaptala, the Harvest Man Expo is on this year. It will be at Nambola Stadium from the 15th of February to 17th February. And the theme for this year's Harvest Man Expo is farming as a business. Entrance fee will be 10,000 shillings and each training session will be 10,000 shillings.